Hi, I'm Tom and in this quick tip for Revit, I will show you how to set up the behavior of double clicking on objects in Revit. And stay tuned till the end because apart from the obvious ones, I will show you how to change the behavior of double clicking on views or on sheets and how to change it so it, that it doesn't open the rename option. So by default, when you double click on a sketch based object, it opens the edit mode in Revit, which might be desirable. What I really don't like is when I double click on a family, it opens the family in the family editor. I really don't like this behavior. So how do I set up the double click behavior? I set it up by going to file options. And here under user interface, I've got double click options and I can customize these. And here you see element types and the action, which will be taken when you double click on it. So by default, when you double click on family, it opens the family in a family editor. When you double click on sketched element, it edits the elements. Then you can set it up for clicking inside views outside views on sheets, double clicking on groups or stairs. I think these are okay, but I really don't like the default behavior for double clicking on families. So I click here. I've got three options. I prefer to set it up to do nothing. Hit OK, OK. And now when I double click on a family, even by accident, it doesn't open up family editor. And still, if I want to edit family, I can just click it and open the family editor like this. It's quite easy. So this is how I change this default behavior of Revit. And what really frustrated me sometimes was when I was clicking in the project browser on names of uh, views or names of sheets. If you click on the name once and then for a second time, it opens up this renaming uh, renaming option. I don't like this behavior. To change this behavior, you have to tinker a little bit with Revit and you have to change the revit.ini file which set up how Revit behaves. This file is located, the revit.ini file is located on this place on your hard disk, so drive C, users, your username, updata, roaming, Autodesk Revit, and then your Revit version. So I will go to my disk, this PC, local disk, then I will go users, some who that's my user, updata, roaming, Autodesk, now Revit. I will uh, link, I will um, have this, this address in the description box below. And this is my Revit version. And here is the Revit INI file. I like to copy it and make a backup of the original one. So before I mess with it, I will create a backup. And then I will open the file. I will right click and edit. Open it in a text editor. And you can see it's a plain text file with some settings and we are looking for user interface part and here we want to add this line this syntax again uh, it will be in the description box below the syntax is slow double click in project browser equals zero so i will copy it here and paste up here so under user interface, I will make a new line, slow double click in project browser equals zero. Now I will save the file. Now close the file and also close Revit. I won't save this one. And now I will restart Revit. So after Revit has restarted, I will open my project. Once it's opened in the project browser, when you click the sheet name and now you click again, it doesn't open the renaming options. The same is for, for view names. I cannot change the name by slow double clicking. If I want to rename it, I have to uh, select, uh, I use the F2 key or right click and rename. So it, I don't open the rename dialog by accident. So this is my quick tip. 
I would like to thank for uh, the changing of the slow double click in the project browser to the Revit CAD blog because I didn't know about this feature. I recommend you to check out this blog for some advanced features and tips like this. The link to the blog will be in the description below. If this quick tip was helpful, smash that like button and take care.